transferring a station to another PC. In this video, we're going to go through how to move a station from one computer to the next using uh, the Robot Studio Pack and Go feature. There's a few reasons that you might want to do this. The first reason is due to the fact that when Robot Studio goes to work with a particular simulation, it uh, builds a very specific folder structure that includes all the various different files that uh, the simulation needs in order to run. One of the big problems that you can run into is if you say create a um, simulation on your desk machine and you go to move it over to a laptop that you use for programming, you may not have access to the same CAD models and alike. So this is what uh, the Pack and Go helps to fix. So in order to do this, I've got a computer or sorry, a station open on my computer here. I'm going to go to the Share tab and I'm going to say Pack and Go. And then I'm going to pick where I want to save this. So I'm going to save this Pack and Go just to my desktop. So we'll go desktop, getting started, and it's RSPAG or RS Pack and Go. We're going to say Save, say OK. And there we go, we've created the pack and go and we've put that file on our desktop. Now we're going to simulate going over to another computer. So I'm gonna close the station here. Uh, I'm going to close out of Robot Studio so you know 100% that it's been closed. There's my getting started RS pack and go. I'm gonna open up Robot Studio. And we're going to go to share. And then in order to work with a file now on our other computer, we simply go unpack and work. And it's going to open up the unpack and work wizard. So the next thing that I want to do is I want to go through here and I want to create this file as a Use, or under users, dbarrett, desktop, RS video demos, solutions. And I want to create another folder there called unpacked. And I'm going to select that unpacked folder. Then I'm going to go to my desktop. And I'll find that pack and go. Getting started, pack and go. Say OK and open. And I need to go back up and find that unpacked folder. I want to say unpack to solution. Say next. It's going to tell me the original version that the file was created in, which is 10.6.02. And what it's going to ask me what version of Robotware I want to use. So I can downgrade this slightly, or I could upgrade it if I wanted to. I'm going to leave it as the same version. I'm going to ask it to automatically restore backup and copy the configuration, or sorry, and I'm going to leave copy configuration to SysPar turned off. And we're going to say next, finish. And we're going to let that run. And as Robot Studio does this, it's going to go into that folder structure and it's going to restore all the work that we had. Now, with this pack and go function, if I had custom libraries and I had saved uh, library components or geometry components, and I didn't have those on my local machine that I'm moving the file to, those are all included as part of the pack and go. So it makes it way easier for you to import and work on another file um, in a different machine or on a different environment. So this takes a minute or two. We'll just let it run. And once it's done, 
I'll show you what the file structure looks like, and then that'll be it for this video. All right, so once we're done, we get this unpack and work finished. Say OK. Here's all those components that were there beforehand. And I'm going to open up that folder on my desktop. So I'm going to go to Desktop, RS Video Demos, Solutions, Unpacked is where I unpack this to. And we've got our backups, our libraries. So in our libraries, there was nothing really locally saved there. We've got signal analyzer, stations, virtual controllers, and our unpacked um, robot studio file. So that's it. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.